Stock Surfer here, and today we are going to look at Rolls Royce, ticker symbol R Y C E Y. I'm not going to waste your time, and we're just going to get right into it. Um, this stock has taken a massive hit in the last week or so, and we see that as a huge buying opportunity. So let's go back to the one week chart, and we see that this was trading at around $3.39 before December 2nd when they paid out a $1.90 dividend. That's right, $1.90 on a $3.39 stock. It's huge. Um, I had about 200 shares at the time and had a nice little almost $400 dividend, which was great. I had my uh, drip turned off, so I just kept the cash, which was great. But a lot of people ended up waking up to double the shares, but half the price. Which, in in a sense, worked as a stock split with the option to basically cash out, which was pretty pretty cool if you ask me. That it's just forcing you to hold the bag. So when I woke up on December, I noticed, oh hey, I got extra money in the bank, and we got a huge buying opportunity here. Uh, I think it was something around a dollar sixty at that point when. Uh, I bought, I think I bought another 500 shares or, or something. And, uh, you know, I still think this is a huge buying opportunity within a few days. Bounced all the way back up to, um, well, let's go to the intro, let's go to where it ended. Intraday, it hit $2.54. This graph doesn't even show it. It went all the way to here. Whoa. Anyways, we've come back down, settled at 212. And I truly think this stock will make it to, shoot five dollars in the next couple of years easily an easy double up it's just a long-term hold and don't forget it is a very long-term hold this is not something i'm expecting to go absolutely crazy just quite yet this is a huge market cap and it's a very cheap stock i take a lot for make this thing really bounce up um, there's a lot of people with tons and tons of shares so just remember that but let's look at rolls royce the company and we're not talking about cars, if you haven't figured it out by now. We're talking about aerospace and uh, defense, really. This company is one of the largest, I would say, companies in England. And probably one of their, I would say, crown jewels. And they take great pride in this company. So I highly doubt that Her Majesty would let them fail. Quickly, before we go there, let's look at the five-year chart and just see what kind of highs they were at one point. So here we're, I don't know why I can't see the price, but we were up at around over $14, $14.50 it looks like here, plus, um, and you know, that's a, that's a pretty big gap up, if only, that was only in 2018, July 30th, so, you know, that's a long drop, and there's a lot of ground to make up, but I truly think that, you know, this will be trading in the $5 zone before you know it, which is you know, right here, five dollars on. Um, <clears throat> that being said, let's go over to Rolls Royce's website and have a look at some of their products and everything else. Innovation. Uh, we're gonna skip this one, just because. Let's go to products and services. Um, civil and aerospace, intelligent engine. I'm not sure what that is. They have so many products, people. I don't have time to go through every single product, um, but I highly encourage you to. Check out their website, RollsRoyce.com, where you can do your own research, read a lot about it. You can actually look at their stock on the London Stock Exchange, where they're actually from. Um, Ricey, R-Y-C-E-Y, is a holding company, basically. You're not, it's a bit different. We, we can get into that later. Um, but let's look at their products. So for the airlines, they make a ton of different um basically engines, jet engines for different types of aircrafts, you know, different sizes and whatnot business aviation again these are just types of aircraft i'm guessing or uh engines I'm not entirely sure helicopters same thing um they even have future products and aftermarket services so let's we're not going to get too deep into that let's go in into defense aerospace they make combat jets a few of them rotary i believe those are like helicopters those, i could be wrong those are all different types of helicopter i'm, I'm assuming they're just engines i don't I'm not sure if they make the whole thing we can actually just take a look at one Let's see um 
Yeah. Okay. So they make engines. We're talking about engines here. So these things are pretty gnarly. They make tons of stuff, you guys. This is not um, this is not just your average company here. Let's go. Let's go back this way. Let's just do it like this. So we're over here in aerospace still. Rotary trainers. I guess that's for military training. Uh, they make so many types of engines. You like it's insane. Um, naval. They make just giant engines for ships. All kinds of cool stuff. Um, I really think this is a future-proof company. I really don't think the queen herself will let him fail. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of this. What's the term? Like, I have no idea what these are. Advanced technology. Whatever it is, that thing looks cool. And I want to be invested in this company. Submarines, land. It's just there's so many things. Nuclear power systems. There's There's so much. This company is very old and, you know, they're just well established. I really think that you can't lose with this. And this is an incredible once in a lifetime buying opportunity. Um, right now, we're just kind of transferring over to the London Stock Exchange to have a look at the share price over there. It's taking kind of a while to load. <clears throat> I probably didn't help by clicking it again. Um, here we go. So here we can actually go back to the 10 years looks like we can go back to pre-2008 even if we want but they had a high at 400 and, let's get this out of there 442 dollars and 34 cents and what looks like between 2013 and 2014 so maybe the beginning of 2014 and a low just recently let's go to the three month the low of 38.98 which happened within three months at the beginning of October. Since then, this is the London Stock Exchange uh, one, by the way, people, this is not the on the New York Stock Exchange, has risen from 38.98 to 134.90 as of December 2nd. Or no, yes, yes, December 2nd. Um, you know, that's that's tripled, more than tripled, which is pretty, pretty awesome. If we go to the American one, now we're over here on, this is looking at it through Robin. This is the five-year chart. Let's go to the one year. As you can see, this has a lot. This thing can make it back, no problem. We go to the one week, it took a massive drop. At the end of the day, this stock has a really, really big upside and it really can't get go down much more. Um, the pros are thinking that this, you know, pro and by pros I'm talking about analysts from like Morningstar and stuff. They think this is a dollar twenty stock, um, you know, and they're wrong all the time. They're wrong about Tesla. They're wrong about Neo. They're wrong about a lot of different stocks. Really, there's tons of them they're wrong about. So you know, take that with a grain of salt. Um, there is a partnership with Virgin Galactic, Rolls Royce, and Virgin Galactic have partnered up to bring back the Concorde. For those of you that can remember the Concorde, that is a, I believe, a supersonic uh, jet for travel. Basically, he, they want to replace first class, um, you know, they, they, they think people would rather pay, you know, pay that first class price, you know, to fly a Concorde. So that's what they're, you know, how, how can I explain that? They they want to get rid of first class and normal planes, and then basically a first class ticket would be a ticket on their Concorde, which will get you there in like one third the time or something insane. Don't you know? Don't quote me on that. I don't know the exact time, but it will be much much faster, and people are going to pay for that. Um, yeah, I mean this is a European company, so you have to remember that they're going to be more affected by European um, news. For example. I mean, the whole world is, you know, bounces off American news, but this company could uh, weather the storm, so to speak, if there are problems in the U.S. One thing I didn't mention is if there is a war, 
this company will explode. They make all types of stuff. Um, goes without saying. What else? What else? Um, this company, if you live in America and you want to invest in this company, you're going to have to either use Robinhood or TD Ameritrade. Um, it is not offered on Webull, unfortunately. Um, I use Webull, TD Ameritrade, and Robinhood for those reasons. You know, some are available on some that aren't on others. Um, this is one of them. Probably the most important one, I think. Um, anyways, I suggest everybody goes over to RollsRoyce.com, looks at their stuff, and, you know, it's pretty hard not to be sold at such a great price. And I truly think this is something, this is a stock that I'm going to buy now and hopefully hold for 10 plus years. And, hope you know, if everything goes great with their dividends and everything else, uh, hopefully I can give this stock to my grandchildren one day. You know, that's that's the goal. You know, it's like, oh, he got it at a dollar, dollar sixty. You know, you know, one day it's going to be worth way, way more. This company is not going anywhere. They are established, and you know, they're the recipients of bailouts from the English government. This this company is legit, you guys. So, anyways, that's all I got for today. I have a lot more other picks, or many more other picks that I will be making more videos on. Again, this is my first video. I did it all in one recording, one shot. Please don't be too brutal on me in the comment section. And please hit like if you found any useful information here. Um, this There's more to come, people. More to come. And enjoy your afternoon, night, morning, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Stock Surfer, signing out.